Welcome to another installment of the Advisor Series with Dave Harris of Harris & Associates, a registered investment advisor. This series of interviews and conversations is designed to help you find financial fitness by answering the pressing questions on the minds of today's investors. The topic of this session is bull market or bear market rally. As always, our resident expert is Dave Harris, president of Harris & Associates. He holds a PhD from the University of Chicago and is a chartered financial consultant, a certified financial planner, and in 2008 was chosen one of America's top financial planners by the Consumers Research Council of America. We all know that the market has had some good updates recently, but people are still weary. Is this rally real or is it a bear market rally that goes up a bit and only to fall down even further? Well, Shelby, that's the question, and the answer is maybe. During this bear market, we've had three bear market rallies, or times when the market would go up substantially over 15%. We're in the third one right now, and uh, is this really a bear market rally? We don't know, but I don't think it is. I think that we're actually in the beginning of a recovery. If we look at the high of the market back in 2007 in October, uh, it's come down uh, like 44% to where it is now. At the bottom on March 6th, it was 56% down. So we've really made quite a change, 28% up this time. And uh, I think that we have some, some upside potential right now. Okay. We hear so much bad news and it just doesn't stop. I want to know, when are we going to hear some good news? One of the problems is that the media is so sensational and they know that bad news sells best. And so whatever it is, they tend to make it something pretty spectacular. Um, right now we're hearing a lot about the swine flu and I was kind of appalled to hear the quote from the Center for Disease Control that we're going to have deaths. Well, the normal flu, we have 20,000 deaths a year. And so to say we're gonna have some deaths from this new strain is to say like the sun is gonna rise. So it's just really too, too much sensationalism. I think most people see that, but how does this sensationalism that you're speaking about relate to financial matters? It's even more rampant, I think, in financial markets because finance is a little bit dull and so they've got to make it exciting. And so we find that with all the different media outlets clamoring for our attention, we have even respected outlets like the Wall Street Journal putting things in a more sensational way. David Kelly, who is the chief financial uh, market strategist for JP Morgan, pointed out that in a, in a chart that was in the Wall Street Journal, it's showing that we have higher unemployment numbers, more people unemployed than ever before. And as he was looking at it, it occurred to him that, well, the workforce is bigger than it's ever <laughs> been before. You always measure unemployment in percentages and although it's bad and certainly for any one individual who is unemployed that is a that is a depression for them uh, you know you want to be sympathetic to that but but as far as the percentages they're not really that bad we're, we're, we're up in unemployment but we're not near 10 12 percent that we've had before so what can a person do with all this misinformation well that's where a financial advisor really comes in and you need someone that you can trust who does nothing but study those financial markets all day. So it might be good to get back into the market, but how can you get back into the market without risking substantial losses? People are a little bit scared right now and they don't really know how to get back into the market if they do and the tendency is for them to stay on the sidelines way too long. And so one of the things we want to do is show them that there are ways of investing without getting too far uh, along. One of the things you can do is segregate your money, and this is what an advisor would do, is what I like to call now money and your investable assets. Segregate your money. Well, that's a good idea. Okay, so what kind of investments make sense for now money? People are familiar with money market and CDs, but there are so many other cash equivalents that don't really risk your principal and can give you a good return. For example, three and a half percent on one that I use right now is what I call my money market surrogate. So the beauty of that is that it's daily liquid. You're not locking your money up like you would in a CD and yet you're able to get CD or better returns. 
Dave, you always say that there are opportunities in every market. I've heard you say it personally. <laughs> what investments represent the most attractive opportunities in this recovery? Right now those opportunities are uh, high yield bonds, which prices have been pushed down so much that the yields on them are 12, 14, even 15 percent or higher. So really, you can get paid to wait. We don't know where the market is really going, but you can buy high yield bonds and then just sit on them. Let the market go down a little bit, let it go up a little bit. At the price you buy it, you're making 15% on your money and you can afford to wait it out. What other investments represent the most attractive opportunities in this recovery? Well, balanced funds are always a great opportunity because you have equities and you have bonds together managed to try to get the best return between those things. The volatility of balanced funds tends to be about half of the market. So if the market's going up, you're going to get some of the gains, but if the market goes down, you're not really going to suffer that much. So if you're a little bit timid, balanced funds would be a good choice. Another option for the more aggressive investor or someone who thinks that the prices are really low and that we do have a lot of upside potential would be to use leveraged investments. And these are investments that have one and a half to two times the market. And those are always a good little supercharger to put in your portfolio. Not a big position, but maybe 10%, maybe 15. Hmm. Well, Dave, it sounds like great advice. Thank you so much. And you know, you actually might help our viewers maintain financial fitness. So thank you. We hope so. <laughs> this brings us to the end of another installment in the Advisor Series, Conversations with Dave Harris of Harris & Associates. And if you have further questions about your investments or your finances in general, you can take advantage of a free consultation for just being a viewer of the Advisor Series. Dave will be happy to meet with you to evaluate your portfolio or just to offer a second opinion if that's all you need. Many investors find they are basically on track. They only need to make a small adjustment to take advantage of current market opportunities. And of course, a small adjustment at the right time can make a big difference down the road. So, do what many satisfied viewers have done and call for your free consultation. Whether you're thinking about a new advisor or you just want a second opinion, this is an opportunity to take action, reduce your fear, and perhaps improve your financial fitness. You can call 24-7, so do it now. And don't forget to mention the Advisor Series. I'm Shelby Phillips. Until next time.